Hey everyone. So today I am doing this week's group challenge for Pouring in Harmony. If you haven't went and checked out our Facebook page, please do. You can just do a search for Pouring in Harmony. There will be a hashtag you can click on and it will take you to all our group videos. So our challenge this week, we are doing a patriotic balloon smash. Since it was just Memorial Day, we wanted to continue that for the rest of the week, going into next week for Gay Pride. So it is all about celebration and starting the summer and enjoying ourselves and love and happiness and all that good stuff. So, as I said, it's patriotic, so it's red, white, and blue. And a balloon smash. So I have a balloon for after that I need to blow up. This is just an old recycled canvas that I primed over. And it is 11 by 14. So, my colors, and I'm going to name them off as how I layered them in, in my cup. So I started with the dark red by Anita. And then this one I don't have the bottle for, but it's the Midnight Navy Blue Metallic by Craftsmart. And then I have the Berry Wine by Folk Art, which I love. It's almost like a burgundy color, very pretty. I don't know if you can see that. And then I have pearl white for my white. And then red color flash, which I don't have the bottle for. Sorry, there's people doing yard work all around me. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> okay, and then I have, I feel like I'm missing a color. Oh no, I'm not, okay. And then I have Sapphire Blue by Folk Art mixed with Artist Loft Phalo Blue to make it just a little bit darker. I just wanted to give the Phalo a shimmer, really. And then Ice Blue by Folk Art. Now, you were in the challenge. You are allowed to use gold or silver if you want to give it a little more bling bling for, you know, to look like fireworks. But since I'm using almost all metallics, I'm not too worried about it, and I'm not a big fan of gold, and my silver always tends to take over. So, we might add it when I do a he the bloom drop, but or smash, but we'll see. So, I have my cup layered here. The only silicone in the cup is what I sprayed in the cup to help release the paint. And I am just going to do a ribbon pour. Then I'm going to let it set for about 30 minutes and then come back and do the balloon smash. So I'm going to do the ribbon pour, torch it, let you check it out, pause you, go hang out, watch the TV with the kids, and then come back. So, just go ahead, and there's a lot of paint in here, which is fine. I'm still working on those paint skins, which, let me grab a tray real quick. didn't think about that ahead of time. I was too busy mixing paint. So let me get this tray ready and then we'll get going. So we do have this week's challenge if anybody wants to join us. And then we have next week's challenge set up as well. And next week is going to be a rainbow pour. And what we're doing with that is it is going to be um, a rainbow swipe. It can be any type of swipe using any kind of instruments and tools you want, but it has to be all colors of the rainbow. So, and like I said, that is for Pride Week, or Pride Month, actually. Um, at least here we have Pride Month. <laughs> 
Oh, let me. Sorry, I should have done this ahead of time. I just was not thinking. And of course, I'm getting a stubborn paint skin that doesn't want to come out of my tray. So if you do want to join us on any of the challenges anytime, all you have to do is contact one of us in the group. You don't even have to contact us. You can just do the challenge and use the hashtag. Um, but we post our challenge videos and pictures and pictures of other stuff we do on our Facebook group page. So we would really love to have you there with us. If you're not, you know, we'd love to have you join in the challenges, but if you don't want to do that, just come hang out, throw around some ideas, give us a challenge. We're always up for anything, and most of us do all kinds of crafts, not just for painting. I do all kinds of different painting, and I know Jean Marie, she does all kinds of cool crafts, and so make sure you check out her channel. And my sister Tammy Time, she does gardening and sewing and cooking and I mean everything. I mean we grew up, we were the two crafty people in the family. Um, I ended up doing something creative as far as work went. But my mom and grandma, sister, they all, everybody, everybody was crafty. So and then Brittany and Bridget are also in the group, and I know they both do tons of different stuff too, so we are all up for any kind of challenge. Just hit one of us up and let us know what you have in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this down. Almost like, it's ring pour, but, or not ring pour, but like ribbon pour, but almost like a traveling tree ring. I would have used some ice blue down in that side. Okay, we'll just pour it that way to start with. I'm turning it away from you. I won't be for long. Okay. Just going to run some of this down here. Okay, so this is step one. Let me wipe my hands off and I'll give it a torch. It's kind of wonky on that side, so. That's a little better. Okay, let me grab the torch and See what we come up with. Make sure all the sides are covered. Yep, yeah, we're good to go. Okay. It. Yes, I'm just imagining it. Okay, so I'm going to let this set and I'll be right back. Let me bring you up for a close-up before we go to the next step, though. Very pretty. 
and I will post pictures of it before the balloon smash and after the balloon smash at the very end of this video. Okay, so hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my 30 second or 30 minutes to do the smash, I wanted to go ahead and show you this painting. It's waiting to be smashed up. There's the bottom right corner. Scan over to the bottom left corner. It's pretty. Like, I almost don't want to smash it. <laughs> but that's the challenge. Okay, there's the middle. And the top right. And the top left, which is one of my favorite areas like that area the best and then down here where there's the little tiny cells but that's the overall view now i'm sorry i'm going to span you i'm going to take you and show you what the dried paintings from last week's live i believe it was sunday so we have this love sign love florida so it turned out good no cracking or anything and then this was the canvas that was underneath that will be embellished in some way. Okay, and then we had a seahorse, which on the blue background here is kind of difficult to see. But there's the seahorse. I did have a painting class that I did after that live, and one of the kids put his hand right there. So... There is that, but otherwise, he's beautiful, and I love his coloring. He dried great everywhere else except on his little tail. And then we had the starfish. And the starfish, I'm going to go in and embellish a little bit. I've got some crabs and some mermaids and dolphins and stuff, some seashells, so I'll figure out something to do, but he dried perfectly and I love him so he's great and then we did the little magnets so there is the dolphin he's got to be cleaned up a little bit but he's cute and then we got our little turtle that wood should have been primed that was from Dollar Tree should have primed that wood before doing a pour over on him. And then we've got the mermaid, the pigtailed mermaid. There she is. She should have been primed too, but they turned out good. And then the week before that, for our challenge video, we did a waterfall challenge. And this was my waterfall challenge with my cat's tail laying in it while it was drying she snuck out into the garage i had taken the cover off of it for a few minutes because i want to check how dry it was and i had went in the house to grab my water come back out didn't know she was out here she was laying on the table with her tail right there so besides the tail issue it turned out beautiful. So I will have to figure out what to do about the tail. Maybe I will paint a Cheshire cat on it and then paint a tail over that and turn it into a cat waterfall painting. <laughs> okay, so that was the paintings from last week. And here's the one from yesterday. It's dry. So I'm still deciding what I want to do with that. Um, and then I have one other that I haven't posted the video for. But I have the video, and I did post it, if I can get it up, I did post it on the Facebook challenge page. And that's that one there. And it is fluorescence and neons, so it will look awesome under a black light. And, okay, I'm back. So... I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but I have this 
Antique Gold by Craftsmart mixed with some glitter. I don't know if I'm gonna smash that over the top yet or not. I just need to stir in the glitter. I don't know, I haven't decided. But I got me a balloon. And it's been setting for about 30, 40 minutes. You never know what you may need, so always be prepared. Okay, I am not good at balloon smashes, so here goes. Already not working so great. the gold. I don't know. We'll put a drop and see. That's a big drop. see but it's not doing much so let's take some of the blue ice blue we'll spread that out some blue better but it's still still not great I just need to let it sit longer. I don't know. That one dripped. Frustrating. <laughs> I don't 
don't think my paint's thick enough. Okay, I'm gonna pause you for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm trying a different balloon. Not that it's gonna make much difference, but let's give it a try. any difference whatsoever. <laughs> finger smash. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Okay, I'm not having any luck and I don't want to mess it up any worse than it is. Do one more with the other balloon. I don't like this balloon, so I'm gonna pop that one. Moving on. Moving to the next. smashed. I patriotic it. <laughs> That's a new new word from Carrie. <laughs> Let's torch it. Sorry. Okay. There is my failed balloon smash and like I said it's the paint's probably not thick enough. So, moving that aside, I'm going to let you see some of my cast balloon smashes. There were epic fails as well. Okay, this was the very first one I did. The colors are crazy, but can't really get much out of that as far as a balloon smash goes. This was my second attempt. It's a swipe, and then I smashed. You can see. I know where I smash balloons. And this was the last attempt I did before I went to California back at the end of February. And it's got a piece of glitter stuck on it. Oh, I'll clean that off. So this was the last attempt I had. So, like I said, not much success with balloon smashes. Neither was that one. So I'm calling it a failure, but I can still do something with it. I mean, it's still a pretty painting. I'm gonna let it sit for a while longer and try again, see if that makes a difference. Anyways, thanks for watching. Again, if you'd like to join the challenges, go ahead and do them. And then hashtag pouring in harmony. So we can check each other's videos out and have a great day. I hope everybody comes by for my first art auction tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Central, on my YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.